Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was asked to do a holiday look on one of my last videos because I know I did one last year and possibly even the year before. And it wasn't really like on my mind to film this video, but I am going to a concert in a couple of days. A group of my girlfriends and I always have some kind of Christmas party every year. And this year we decided to do a concert. So we're going downtown, we're gonna go out to eat and we're, we've are we got like a little hotel we're gonna stay in. It's gonna be very fun. And I was like, well, I already kind of thought of what I think I want my look to be like for that concert. So let's just make it a holiday look because that's what it is, right? It's a, it's a version of our Christmas party. And I think, I haven't done this look yet, but I think it's going to end up being very appropriate for any festive holiday party that you have this season. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is the first thing I do every single time, and that is color correct. I believe this will be the last time I'm able to use my Fit Glow in Peach. I think it's just about gone. So it will be in my empties bag for sure. I do take it all the way to about right here. Okay. So like right at the corner, a little bit before the very corner of my eye, because my darkness is all in that area. If you only have darkness, like in what I call the troughs, then just put it in the troughs. The less product, the better under your eyes, but I need that correcting up until about right here because the, I am dark up until about right here. So that's where I put the product. I'm going to do my highlight a little differently this time and I'm going to put it underneath the foundation versus on top because the blush that I'm using has a little bit of a highlight effect to it as well. And I just feel like if I were to do a highlight and that blush, it would be too much. So I'm gonna do that subtle kind of lit from within kind of highlight. And I'm gonna use my Beauty Pie Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. Very similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Wand for a much more affordable price, but a great formula, a great price point. And because I'm going underneath my foundation, I can go a little bit heavier and I'm gonna put it directly onto the skin, kind of at the high points and just take my hand and kind of blend it out. If I were doing this on top of my foundation, I would not put the sponge directly on the skin. It would just be too much. I would apply it with my fingers after picking it up from the actual component. And then for foundation, I thought I would use a cult favorite. For a reason, it is very pretty. The Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This does tend to wear better on me now than it used to. I used to not get the best wear out of it, meaning like, I like my foundations to last me from eight o'clock in the morning, six o'clock in the morning till 10 o'clock at night when I wash them off. This does wear better on me as I get older, but if you have a foundation that maybe doesn't last as long on you, but you really like how it looks, pull it out for a party because you're not gonna have your makeup on for that long. It's definitely not like an all day thing. You're likely gonna do your makeup right before you leave for the party. And it's a good way to use foundations you love, but that you just don't get the wear out of. This is 5.75 and I am going to put it kind of right here. Like I don't wanna put it directly on top of that highlight and then start to blend it out and then blend it over the highlight so that you can still see some of it coming through. If I were to apply it directly on top and then blend out, it might be a little more coverage than I want, but that way you can still see that pretty highlight under the foundation. This is a nice, oh, what did I just do? I just put it on top of the highlight because I was talking. Let's blend it down <laughs> and then up. Still gonna be able to see some of it. This is a nice medium coverage foundation. This is not full coverage. It's not sheer. It is right in the middle for me. And even though it has luminous in the name, I think it is more on the natural side. It's definitely not matte. And you have a little bit of luminosity coming through on the forehead and obviously where I put the highlight, but it certainly isn't the most dewy foundation that I have in my collection by any means. So I really tend to call this a more natural finish slash radiant foundation. To me, radiant is different than dewy. I am not wavering on my concealer. I'm using my Chantecaille Future Skin Gel Foundation in the shade Vanilla. I desperately, I was gonna say I desperately need this concealer or this foundation as concealer today, but I really need it every day because it just works so well. But I 
just got back late last night from a dance competition in Louisville. Anytime I travel, even if it's in the summer, my skin will turn dry. It does not like being taken out of its normal habitat. <laughs> if I put it in any kind of environment that is not my house right here or my city, it flips out as far as dryness goes. So this is such a good product to use under the eyes when they're dry because it's very, very forgiving. I set the under eyes with my Ilia. This piece of hair. Every time I get my hair trimmed, I love the length, but I cannot pull it back without little tiny hairs falling and it drives me crazy. I'm gonna start out with a cream bronzer. I just really feel like fresh skin is the way to go for a holiday party. It really is the way to go all the time, but I really like that look. Like, do up your eye, do up your lip, and have the skin super fresh. So I'm gonna start out with this. I may end up covering it with a powder, but we shall see. This is the Clinique Chubby Stick Sculpting Contour. This is a really nice color for me. It is unfortunate, very unfortunate, let's be real, that it only comes in one shade because it definitely isn't gonna work for everybody, but for my skin tone, this works as a bronzer and that's how I use it. I do not use it as a contour. I do not contour. I really just warm up the face. I don't wanna change the shape of my face. I'm okay with the way my cheekbones look and I don't necessarily think that contour should be a daily thing for the majority of us. Again, if you like the contour, by all means. But for me, I really just prefer warming up the skin with a bronzer and this is a very pretty color for me personally. And if you go a little crazy, just take that foundation brush without any extra product and just kind of stipple the edge of your bronzer. And it definitely makes things look more natural. For blush, I'm going to use a product that, like I said, definitely has some highlight to it. And that is the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand Glowgasm Brush in Brush Blush in a pink gasm. So again, another product where with the sponge tip applicator. And for this, I just kind of dot it on the cheeks where I want my blush. And then I go in with a brush and quickly blend it out. Cause I do feel like this kind of dries down fairly fast. And this is a BK Beauty 107. See how pretty that is? Just a very nice flush to the cheeks, but again, it's got that highlight in it. So that is kind of why I wanted to do the other highlight underneath the foundation, because I feel like it just would be too much if not. Now I'm gonna do some very strategic powdering because I do wanna keep some of this glow, but right now it's just a little too much for my liking. So I'm gonna take my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish, Airbrush Flawless Finish. As many compacts as I have gone through this, you would think that I would know the name. Some of these names are just so long. I'm gonna take my Jane Ardell Flock Sponge and pick up some of that product. And I'm gonna go press it into the areas that I really don't want a lot of that shine. See how that just took that shine down automatically? So really just kind of like on the sides of my nose and right here in the very center where I don't want pores to be as evident, maybe down here just a little bit really in between my brows get so shiny. Some people like that to be highlighted and they put highlight there intentionally. I'm not one of those people. <laughs> it just doesn't, I don't think it suits me. And then just a little bit on the forehead. And the thing is, is that this is going to, this shine is still gonna come through as the day goes on not from necessarily oils, but maybe from the products, and that's okay. That's why I like to use a little bit more powder to start out with, and then it just becomes looking more natural as the day goes on. But you see, I really steer, steer clear of like the cheeks. I want the cheeks to pop, and they're popping. <laughs> but I'm, I kind of dial down the intense shine everywhere else, but to keep it fresh, even after you powder, you can definitely go in with a hydrating spray. And I have a couple of favorites. I've really been using the Chantecaille Rose Water a lot. I think you've seen that either in my description box or on video, or any hydrating spray from Jane Ardell is going to work great. I just picked up my balance, so that's what I'm gonna use today. And as that sets in and mixes with the makeup, yes, even if it's not Jane Ardell makeup, it is still going to work nicely. So let's move on to the eyes. 
Dare I say I'm going to do a simple eye look today? Do I even have to say that anymore? Because that is all I do. That is my goal in showing y'all looks. I want it to be attainable. I want it to be quick, but I still want them to be pretty. And hopefully you find them helpful. I just don't think you should have to spend 20 minutes on your eyeshadow for it to look good. So I am wanting something a little bit more neutral because even though I think this is how I want my makeup to look, I don't exactly yet know what I'm going to wear. I think I have an idea, but I don't know. So I wanted to keep it neutral so that no matter what I picked, it's going to work. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my Chantecaille Mermaid Eye Color in Sylvie. This is one of the most neutral matte shades. They say it's matte, it's more of like a satin in my collection. And I'm gonna take that on, I'm gonna pick it up first on this Refer 32. I haven't used it with a 32 yet, but I'm gonna see how it works. I think it's gonna work really good because it picked it up really nicely. And I'm using this all over my lid. And also I'm gonna put it up in the crease. And I like this color, especially because it's buildable. So like if I put one thin layer on and I want it to be a little bit darker, just keep building it up. See how pretty that is? It's neutral, it's not too dark. I'm not trying to go for a super smoky eye this go round, but it's gonna be nighttime. I want it to show up at least. And this is kind of, not kind of, it's pretty much the exact color that I was hoping for in this look. It's such a staple in my collection. I love these mermaid eye colors. Copper is one of my favorites. It's what I took with me traveling this weekend. Don't need a brush with it. You can just put it on with your fingers. So they're just so good. See how pretty that color is? And I really like it with that brush. So again, that's the Refer 32 brush. See so yeah, how it's kind of, it's a little bit more of a dense brush, um, but it's got that slant to it. Worked very well. Now, if you can't tell, I'm really into the smudged liner look lately. Today's gonna be no different, but again, it's nighttime. I wanna amp it up just a little bit. So you're gonna see me do something I rarely ever do, and that is use a black pencil. And I pulled out my Chantecaille Eye Cajal in black. I love these because you've seen me use Jasper a ton. I used Amethyst in my Chantecaille video a couple weeks ago. They are very forgiving as far as the playtime that you have with them. They smudge beautifully. So I'm gonna take that again in the shade black and I'm going to run it across. I mean, look at how black that is. My lash line, it is even easier to apply than Jasper, which I didn't think I'd ever say. I'm gonna take that same Real Techniques shading brush that I used in, Goodness, was it my last video? Y'all, I know I've been doing a lot of makeup application videos lately, I promise. The next few are gonna be like empties and skincare and we're gonna take a little bit of a break from application if anybody is getting annoyed with it. But I'm gonna take that brush and smudge it out. There's no right or wrong for how far you take it up when you're smudging for how perfect it looks. That's why I love a smudge because it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, it doesn't look right if it is. Love a smudged out liner. And then because it is a festive look, I feel like you have to have a little bit of shimmer, at least me, you definitely don't. You can leave it like this, line your under eye and be good to go. But I pulled out my Hourglass Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade Smoke because I love how neutral this is. It's like a taupish gray shimmer. And I just feel like this and Sylvie really go well together. I'm not going to use a ton if I, if I do, it can tend to have a little bit of fallout, but this is very finely milled versus some of the other like topper shadows that have a little bit more chunky glitter. And I'm just gonna take that right in the center of the lid. Over the eyeliner, over the shadow, it doesn't matter. I really just want this to be like, I close the eye, I turn the head and that light gets caught, right? A scattered light effect. It almost gives it like a glossy look, which is what I was going for. And then for underneath the eyes, I am going to take my Beauty Pie Stick Eyeshadow. It's got like a, I think it's Wonder Color. 
I've used these in videos before, I really like it. This is in the shade Wild Violet. So this has a little bit of a violet purpley undertone, but it still leans more neutral than if I were to go in with a purple or like a burnt orange or something like that. I want something that falls a little bit more in the middle of the road. And I'm gonna actually just draw this on underneath my eye. You can use your finger to smudge it out. You can use a brush. I like how it has a little bit of a sheen to it because I think that's gonna play off really well of the scattered lights shadow that we put on top. I did my mascara off camera, but I did choose to use my L'Oreal Voluminous in burgundy. I love the burgundy shade, especially for blue eyes. I feel like even though you really have to look up close to see that it's burgundy, it does something about making my eyes pop. And it may just all be in my head, but that's okay <laughs> because I love the formula as well. So that's the mascara that I chose to wear and for lips. Y'all know I am a new lip girl, but for someone who is like me and maybe not comfortable wearing a bold lip, which is typical of the holiday festive season, right? A red lip, probably, no, I'm not gonna say I'm probably not wearing a red lip out in a couple of nights. I am not wearing a red lip out <laughs> in a couple of nights. But if you wanna go a little bit darker than you're typically used to, which when I put this on, y'all are gonna be like, girl, that ain't dark. For me, it is. I pulled out my Jane Iredell Beyond Matte Lip Stain in Fascination. And it's not that dark, I get it, okay? But it's a dark enough for me to feel festive. And it is a lip stain which these lip stains in particular last forever. So all I'll have to do is stick a gloss in my clutch and I'm good to go for the entire night and then some. But this is just a pretty, I don't really know how to explain it. Let me put it on first and then we'll, then we'll see. Let's see how the website explains this color. A matte rosy pink. Hmm. I feel like it's a little more terra like a little more neutral slash terracotta than pink but it is matte this new formula is much easier to apply and it doesn't dry out as much as the older formula but because it's matte and because y'all know i just can't do a matte i really like the fact that it is long wearing i like the color but i am going to top it with just a little bit of gloss Oh look, did that make it more nude? <laughs> yes, it did. This is the Wayne Goss tulip. But here, let just hear me out, okay? This, this it's just my kind of color. It's gonna last all day. I will only have to take this and reapply it with no mirror. But if you want something that is a little bit darker, definitely just do the matte or put a clear gloss on top. See? There's something for everyone. Now, finally, I have already applied a perfume today. It's a sample that I'm trying out, but this is the one that I'm going to be wearing and I personally find it very appropriate for any holiday night out. And it is Parfums de Marly Herod. Now this is technically marketed for men, but y'all, this is one of the best tobacco scents that I have ever smelled in my life. It's not a dry tobacco. It's not, it's a sweet tobacco to me because it does have some vanilla in it. It's got some cinnamon. So it's a little bit of a spicy, sweet and spicy tobacco. Oh, it's just beautiful, beautiful. And I love it for this time of year. There's something about a sweet tobacco scent that just says holidays to me. I don't know why, but it does. And I love this. It's perfect for a night out. So that's it. This is my version of a holiday look, something easy, fresh skin, a little bit of pop of something on the eye, but not overly so. I don't want to look sleepy or tired. I just want to have the eyes pop. So hopefully you enjoyed it. I will have everything listed and linked down in the description box below. Be sure and like and subscribe before you leave so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I hope you all go out and have a very blessed day.